This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals course, and I'm on the lesson Ninja vs. Pirates game. Let's see what we got. We don't want the pirate to stay in the safe zone for too long. Add code to the if statement below so that if the pirate actor 1 is in the safe zone, the program will wait one second, then deduct a point as long as he stays beneath the octopus. Wow, that is harsh. Okay, so we're going to go all the way down here. Now, we're adding an if statement. Add a code to the if statement below. Okay. Oh, is this, where do we got it? Nope. So, it doesn't look like they gave us an if statement to add to add, but we have this one. And so they must mean add to this one. Okay, so what do we want to do? Well, we want to see if the pirate stays in below or greater than 255. We don't want if statement actor in the safe zone. Okay, so we want to know if the actor's in the safe zone for too long. Where's the safe zone? It's the actor, actor one, or the pirate's Y is greater than 255, then that pirate is in the safe zone. And so if we're asking the computer, are pirates down here? If that's true, remember, we run the if statement. We run set every mass ninja to flee, and then we would skip the else, because on an if else, you only want on one or the other lines. If this was false, we're not below it. We set the ninja, mass ninja to chase the pirate and go back around and loop. And we loop once every second. So how could we figure out, though, if we were there for an entire second? We could do... Hmm. Ooh, look at this. What if we put... Set every mass ninja, that's fine. And then let's do... Wait one second and then after we wait one second we should remove a point huh let's see if it works wait i want to get a point i should maybe make the ninja speed up but i like it being easy oh no oh it's working Oh, it's working well. Uh, I'm never going to recover from that. Is that what I'm supposed to... No. <laughs> well, it worked. That was depressing. <laughs> awesome. Let's keep going.